Alright folks, we are back. Hopefully it's not too loud. We've had the food in heat. I got a fan just trying to move some air around in here. Uh, it watched me insulate the wall. Uh, I've done the door. I've done some really crappy weather stripping just out of some inner tube and stuff. Don't want to go crazy here because hopefully I'm not in here very long. You can see outside we got guys going. They're doing all the strapping, things like that. We're doing, I've insulated this door, the inside door. We kind of kick some snow up and uh, to help with the insulation. It's going all right. It's comfortable in here, so I'm pretty happy. We at least have some heat. So we last left it. I was working on the fenders here. Um, not sure what I'm doing back here yet, so I'm going to just leave this be. Um, I think what I'm going to do is start working on the front. I want to do... We'll kind of get the fenders squared up where they should be, I think, and brought the bumper in. Let's start test fitting that and figuring out the front of the truck here. Uh, I'm thinking that is where we're going to start. We're going to start with the front, do this, probably play with the hood, that support, get that in. Hopefully I can actually make the hood hinge and work. That would be like super nice. I feel like... Because I'm trying to go a full custom with this. That's why some people are mixed on my flares. I'm not sold on them either. I do like them. I like it makes the squareness of the truck. But we're going to see down the road. We'll fit the bumper and we'll just kind of work our way through the back. I sort of vaguely, like loosely have an idea of like Barris built a truck. Um, I'm thinking, which I think was called the Dream Truck. If I can remember, I'll put a, a little picture here. This is not the end result I'm going for. I mean, I was toying with the idea of adding fins and stuff to the back, but it made the truck so, so square, I didn't actually like that. So, um, like, I don't know, it, it just didn't have the right look. But I do like certain aspects of his truck. I kind of like the first version of it, and I'm thinking maybe we'll kind of loosely go that way. Um, anyways, for now, I say I'm just gonna try to get my fenders square to the body, because I think they're drooping a little bit right now. So we'll get them up, we'll shim the front, get that right. And then we'll start hacking up this bumper and trying to get it in where we want it.
a little big. <laughs> well, clearly these hinging, because we had to bend that so much, there's no way that the stock hinge is going to work. I guess I could have just got rid of that whole area, really. I kept it just to hold this hood, just so whatever we got to do. I got to tuck it in and out. It's going to be a little off, because I think this thing is supposed to be like way back here. And that's just not happening, I guess, the way things go. There's a little hole in here, and I think this thing has to go back almost an inch or something. So I'll find a happy medium. We'll kind of tweak where I think things should be. We'll tack it. And then uh, we'll set the hood on and just see. Well, we'll probably just tack it, put the hood on, and then we'll work on these fenders to get them up and squared with the rest of the truck and the hood. Mostly the hood, so it sort of has a uniform gap kind of thing going around. Anywho, uh, I'm going to pull the welder out and we'll kind of zap a few tacks on everything. Well, that fits pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty happy with, you know, there is some fine tuning, but doesn't seem too bad. We're a little high up in the middle, but it's probably the brace putting on it. That's why I was kind of sitting banging it down. I want that to go down and that'll bring this out a little bit. But once there's a proper trim in there, it'll, it'll probably work with the hood. So with the latch not working, I don't really know how we do that other than making a bigger gap and just having a single single hinge like a trunk hinge almost maybe on the side might work to uh flip it up it's just that it would cut here so normally a car hood would kind of goes forward and does something um i don't know how this if that'll work with this so i'm not too concerned if i have to take the hood off that's not the end of the world to me to uh you know check your oil or do whatever you got to do under the hood so we got that done that seems to be like shimmed ish okay uh i think the next thing i'm gonna work eh, i'm probably gonna take this spreader bar out because you can always use that somewhere else <clears throat> and maybe the bottoms i kind of want to have some way to keep the bumper together but we got to section it anyways so i'm probably going to take this apart and then we can start working on these dagmars i think that's the proper say for it but get those positioned up and kind of about where i want then we can kind of trim off that little mustachey deal. And I kind of almost want to recreate that where, where the bumper's going to go up. It can have a hard ending. And then we'll kind of transition it and feather it out into the, like, follow the bumper almost. So I will do. 
and we'll see what happens here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to take this apart nicely-ish. <laughs> Well, you can see why this bumper isn't very desirable to use. <laughs> it's uh, pretty rough. Eh? Hey, not bad. I kind of want to go a little, like, actually I don't mind where it's at right now, but I know I want more heavy on the bottom. I would like it that if this truck laid out, although maybe it'll make it look too, um, too square not that it's not a big square brick but anyways I might add to the bumper down and then do a filler going across don't know yet but I like this look I think this has got to go back in like I want this well this is actually it's almost gonna get too far from what I was thinking I'm gonna go back a bit but you see how the mustache dealio when this straightens up this part here can kind of follow over the brim of the bumper back to the fender but I want this under the fender it's kind of the idea I know it's pointed down I have to find a way to support this whole thing but I guess I'll have to work one side the way I want now I can kind of glue things together temporarily to uh, get the look that I'm after here I like this I'm actually toying with the idea because I see how Barris was if I keep the wheel arches and I don't put the arches on it, uh, I might want to open the arches on them a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> uh, the idea is keep switching around. It's how I roll. Okay. I am going to grab something to eat and then we're going to come back and I guess for now, we'll leave this where it's at. We'll kind of sort of make this semi flush with the bottom of my non-existent fender. And we'll kind of just do a slice out of there, take this part off so we can get this thing tucked up to the front of the truck. And if we have to, we'll section this stuff out because it's kind of rotten there anyways. So we might have to just rebuild this back part, but that's not a problem. It's pretty, it's pretty crunchy to start with anyways, so.
Hopefully it's not too loud. I have to deal with that heater. There's nothing I can do to avoid that. Anyways, we got that. I know this needs to come in. Well, it does and it doesn't. Part of me is like I say, this is going to come down and maybe I'll just transition it off. Which is fine. I don't like how the bumper's doing. Yeah. So whether this is going to get sectioned and moved in, I don't know yet. We guess we could essentially... Nah, we're not, because there's a possibility I'll radius wells, wheel wells yet, I don't know. Anyways, we have this. It actually looks like the original grill, although I've lost a couple crossbars in there. They seem to be missing. Looks like it could be a nice filler. You know what I mean? We can actually take some of the heavy out of the front end if we use this in the back. Other than the couple missing grills, the couple teeth there. That said, I just thought of it. I should run out. I have a grill from a Chrysler. I don't know if it'll fit in that opening though. I should go get it and we'll see. I'll go for a little run out in the back and uh, we'll see. If it's big enough to fit in there, it's a much more complete grill and I think it'd be like that one would be nice. But you can see I'm missing one, two crossbars for sure, three. I mean, we can sort of scab around, but... Because that would fill up into here. And then we could try this, but that would end up making it super, super, like, heavy in the front again. Uh, what did I have? I had that other crossbar somewhere, too, here. We could narrow this down, put the original caddy one back in there. Because that could fit back in. Which is... If we use the grill, that might work. I think if this goes in, there would be just too much going on in the front. And then the grill wouldn't make sense in there. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let me grab that Chrysler grill and we'll see how that looks. Pretty nice, eh? <laughs> I definitely feel there'll be a lot of trimming required to use this. Because this wants to peak up in the middle. So I have to go like that. Because these two butt up. Just wondering if I can cover these in here somehow. <laughs> That's terrible looking, but I don't want to cut that grill up. I do like it. Well, I think it's neat. We have to cut everything. If I use that one, it'll peek out a bit in the middle. Now, if we went with this treatment, that would almost cancel that thing out. So I'm thinking that's not the ticket. I don't want to put it too low. So this is going to get saved for something else. This would work good to cut this off, but then I don't know what to do down here. Like that would be neat. Hmm. Need more stuff. 
<laughs> I think that's a nice clean look inside of here, but too bad it wasn't deeper. It doesn't, something has to finish this section up. Not sure yet. <laughs> I like this. I do like that one too, the Cadillac one, but this is quite the trick look to it. Hmm. I gotta see for what random junk I have for chrome lying around yet. You can see my craziness amount of pallet racking I got. Unfortunately, I don't have anywhere to put nothing right now. Um, uh, I should stand this one up. That one I don't want to get all full of water. Anyways, picked up a nice brake lathe. The big win that I didn't know I got was a big hydraulic uh, for crimping. I got that. Needs to be rebuilt by the looks of it, but... Win! I didn't even know that came with... <laughs> I was just bidding on the brake lathe stuff. Alright, so we have all that junk. Anywho, I don't have crazy amounts of anything for bumpers here. I have some here, but they're super square. And they're all like 58, 9 Buick. So, like this one's cool, but I don't know. This, yeah, there's one that's kind of neat here. But I don't think that would work with the caddy. You can see that's a pretty pretty square round I'm not gonna work the other ones are too that's like 59 I think that's 59 here's like a 58 that's a rear that sucker is uh, the amount of chrome on there Ugh. and just about frozen to the ground and this one might be the same era as this Oh, hold on. Hold on. That one is interesting. It's got a little riser. Hmm. All right. I'm going to grab this bumper because there's a possibility I can use this one. Kind of got the, the flow, the shape. It's way too wide. I love the little mustache thing in the middle. Oh, there's another one right there. I think that's another 58.9 one. Ah. Yeah, something about that one. Something about this one's just awesome. All right, we're taking that one. you nix the idea hear me out here oh, yeah. once I find my grill bar if I section this to this that would give it a finished bumper 
And then you have that other part. Oh yeah, I think this will work. Pretty heavy, eh? I think this is gonna work well. You have to imagine we're not double stacking bumpers. This one's actually so much nicer than this one. I want the Dagmars. I think I gotta and graft that onto here to which this bumper will have to get sectioned. But I love this part. We got here, place for my license plate. We'll get the Dagmars. This should fill up into here to which then this filler bar will finish this plate. I don't know, maybe to get a little heavy, I'm not sure. And we keep using that term, heavy. Just a lot of chrome going on. It's gonna, I can see why this would go on and then the waterfall would be too much with all of this. This is still a gong show. It's, um, I don't know, I like this idea. I think if these, well, once these are off, then that will clean this up. Maybe folks can get a better visual of what I'm thinking. I think. So if we did that and we brought it back, stacked it. Let's do that. Let's bring it back, we'll lift it up. Oh, will this thing fit inside? <laughs> Not really. We'll have to visually stand as far back as I can and then you can have a look at what I'm thinking in my head. But I'm gonna pull these off first. I know I like it. Unfortunately, when I took those bumperettes off, look at the mess that's under there. I mean, whatever, you can weld and fill it. Kind of cruddy. Then down here, I didn't realize it did that. So now I'm a little on the fence here. Do I, if I can weld this, I'm gonna get a grinder, see if that thing sparks. See what that stuff is made out of. And it's pot. Lame. Golly. Well, that sucks. I might have to get a friend of mine to see if we can cast a set of those without the blinker in it. I think would be pretty cool. And then maybe put signal lights down under the bumper like that. Now, what I'm trying to think in my head is see how this thing transitions. I can get a little more meat out of my bumper if this Dagmar, if these kind of met and uh, was welded together kind of thing. That's my thought. Cause that gets that lower. The filler, the whatever it is, the crossbar will fix the grill part. Man, but you would think that grill should go all the way down. That's the only drawback. I wonder if that one would be a better option now. Even without my, even with my missing bits. If we put that one in there, how much lower do we go? Not much more. We don't win too much more with that. Well, that is my dilemma right now. I like this bumper because I like this license plate holder. I like the way it does this. I think, I'm not stacking them, but I feel if this thing was cut here, and met up with the lip of here, it would be good. Like maybe we can do that and somehow this thing comes off, transitions into this one, and then we can kinda use the flat, I don't know. A little mixed here. A little mixed, I think I gotta sit and think on this. I'll dig it. 
but it's got its share of problems. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I so wanted to run those things, but come on, that is so clean. Golly, I wish the grill was bigger that we could, like it would fill that whole gap. Like we have to section the bumper, but I think, man, does that look nice. Oh, key, like that needs to be there. This needs to go. I think the fenders need to be cut. Like my must, like everything I did here <laughs> doesn't matter. I can pretty much just add it back on. I think if it stopped on the bumper, that would be fine. Maybe just do a, a small little lip to, uh, to pretty it up. And then we tuck the bumper under, section it again. We need to take a piece out of here. I think we'll need to take a piece out of here. Oh, but man, if they had a grill that was bigger than this down, that would be fantastic in there. Oh, man. See, I'm glad I didn't cut that thing up because, well, it didn't work. I love this one, but there's not enough going on either. But we know that it works, so I could take flat stock and basically make my grill oh dyna that thing is nice i like that hmm <laughs> yeah a couple little flat pieces running across similar to the way this grill's done and then we could zap the bars in right behind it oh yeah we could totally make that golly that looks good man I was so dead set on those, but this makes it just more custom looking. Like it's just... Man, we'll have to get rid of the peak out of the middle. Or we peak it. I don't know. I think we're going to leave it. Just smooth it out of that hood. That'll look perfect there. This looks awesome. Golly. I like it. I don't know if I can go back more. I think we, we hit. Have to torch some more. Or do I? Oh no, it's up here it's hitting. It's the bumper brackets that are hitting. So we might have to lose those. So we can suck this thing back more. I don't know folks, what do you think? I think this thing's the win. This setup's the win and then I don't think I have a grill. We're gonna have to actually make one. I don't know, I don't know. What do you think? The Dagmars? Or that. You gotta imagine this grill with this one filled in, down, cleared up into the bumper. A similar grill set all the way down there. I could put the stock one in, but it just would not look right. It needs this touch, I think. Well, folks, I'm not sure. I think that is where we're gonna leave this one. I wanna think about that a little bit more, but that just would have such a good look to it. 
Okay, get her at that angle. I think if we did that, smoothed out there, did the signals, this bumper, narrowed a bit, maybe this coming down with a slight, a slight like a round bar kind of an accent following the bumper up, just so it has, like the Oldsmobile where it just has a slight transition to go over. I think that'd be great because if I did something with these wheels and switched it out, like I said, I was toying with the idea with Barris's, which is maybe the arches come up a bit. I'll figure out ride height and then I'll figure out maybe we do a small cut just so I have good clearance for steering. And then we ditch the flares. Unless with this style, maybe the flares will make sense. Because now, now there's a lot more squareness. Oh, I don't know. Let's try that. Let's put the flare on really quick just to see how it would match up to the bumper. I mean, it's neat. I think a lot of you are winning me over with just the round arches though. You definitely need to make grill. I don't know. See, to me it would have been nice as this part here would have been and then we could have ended the bumper, but we can also tuck the bumper into the fender, so. Eh. I don't know that it matters. Even this little bit of lip, if we just had that much mustache kind of come in here and blend it into that. Yeah, we might not need the arches. I don't know. I dig it. What do you think? I'm almost thinking this side's going to be the win. All right. Anyways, as always, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. And we will catch you on the next one. Later.